Hello everybody, how we doing? How we doing? My name is Quantic Flux, and today we are going to be checking out a game called Astria Six-Sided Oracles. It is a dice building game, uh, dice building roguelike to be more specific, with a kind of weird damage system. Um, we're gonna look into what that means exactly, because I think I'd struggle to explain it to you before seeing the tutorial. Um, but essentially we're playing as someone who is going around uh, purifying corrupt monsters. And uh, I guess here's the story. This is the story of the mystic star known as Astria and the six planets that orbit her. In a distant past, Astria gifted one child in each of the six worlds with an astrarium, a relic that holds the secrets of the stars. These children became known as the six-sided oracles. Ruled by the tenets of the Mother Star, they guided the people and built thriving civilizations that mastered the art of astromancy. Astromancy is a cool name for magic. Uh, thus began the Starlight Age, an era bathed in light and blessed with Astria's celestial gifts. But here comes something awful. Then, unexpectedly... Astria went silent and started to fade. Ripperoonies, Astria. Worried by her absence, the oracles decided to investigate. An anomaly was noticeable in Star Mother's heart. Afraid of what could happen, they devised the creation of a towering monument in the capital of the Sixth World, Aquarius. Okay. One that would remove the anomaly. Sure, it seems like a smart plan. Doesn't seem to have worked, though. <laughs> but they found that below the light, there was fire. And below the fire, there was darkness. Astria's heart fell into Aquarius, and a fiery cataclysm was unleashed, engulfing the entire star system and corrupting the souls of the weak-willed. That day became known as the Crimson Dawn. Woof, that's rough, dude. Still, Astria's gifts remain scattered across the world, and with them, it is possible to purify her dark influence. But the ones who could manipulate them are not present anymore. Ooh, you killed off all the oracles? Rough. After a long silence, echoes of the ancient cataclysm are once again surfacing and threatening to swallow persistent worlds. I assume these are the characters we get to play as? With the spread of corruption, the once lost Astrariums have awakened and have started calling the descendants of the six sided oracles. Guided by the mysterious call, they set out on a journey to Aquarius in a final effort to defend all they've ever known. But just to be clear, Aquarius was totally blasted and now that Oracle's dead forever? That's messed up, dude. I guess, yeah, if your entire freaking uh, family line is destroyed, you're not going to be inheriting. <laughs> <laughs> that power. All right, let's head on in. Cool story so far. Enjoying it. Oh, no, there are six. I lied. <laughs> Mooney, the astral disciple. Hello, Mooney. Uh, level and lore. Character complexity, one out of six. Fair enough. Profession, academic. Noctu and Grimar. Noctia. Coming from a lineage of scholars, Mooney has always searched for the lost knowledge of the star system. Her astrarium has been passed down through generations as a family relic. With her wisdom, she is capable of improving dice and turning adversity into, into an advantage. It's like she has her own level system, which is kind of neat. All right, let's play with Mooney. Oh, my Astria, what am I supposed to do? What's happening? Good question. Two and it's always sunny. What's happening? Uh, My dear friend got corrupted. It's bad. There's nothing I can do. I can't save her. Wait, who are you? What are you doing here? No one comes to this doomed planet. I'm Moody. I was called to Aquarius by this Grimar. Oh, I'm on Aquarius. Okay, fair enough. Grimar? Wait, this is one of the six-sided oracles, Astrariums. If you have this Grimar, it means that you are one of the new oracles. You know a lot, dude. And you can save her. Here she comes. What? Oracle? All right, Mooney, maybe you shouldn't travel to other planets if you don't know what's happening, dude. Rawr. 
Oh, my dear friend. How could I let this happen to you? We gotta purify her fast before she gets stronger. You'll need to learn a few things to purify her. But first, let's draw dice. Okay. Cool. Okay. This is your dice hand. You need to use these dice to purify your enemies back to normal. Enemies also roll dice, but they roll the same dice each turn. After you play all your actions, enemies will activate the action that they rolled. These are the main actions of our world. Purify and corrupt. Purify decreases corruption. That means that it will damage enemies and heal you. Corrupt is the opposite. It increases corruption, meaning that it heals enemies and damages you. Note that corrupt actions have a red outline. Actions with a red outline are considered mandatory actions and need to be used before your end turn. Before you end your turn. Okay. Therefore, you must use all corrupt actions before you end your turn. This is the enemy corruption meter. It starts fully filled with corruption, and you need to purify it to win the battle. You also have a corruption meter. It starts fully filled with purification. But if your corruption meter gets filled with corruption, you will lose one heart. It's like we have three. If you lose all your hearts, you will become corrupted and will lose the game. You're not supposed to know that this is a game, my friend. Let's try to purify her. Okay. So, I mean, what happens if we give you more corruption when you're maxed? Nothing? That's probably a later mechanic, if I had to guess. There's no way it's that easy. <laughs> Ouch. Right click on the dice to view all its faces. Okay. Deal three purification to yourself. So it, on all sides, it's dealing purification to myself. Got it. You can right click on any dice to view all its faces. What is this? View all targets. Does that include me? That's just a regular corruption to all targets. Okay. Well, I'm just going to win right here, though. <laughs> Oh no! Too late. What? She's resisting your purification. She's getting stronger. What the heck? All enemies have an overcorruption meter. Okay. When they receive corruption, they get healed, but their overcorruption also increases. Got it. So this is to prevent me from doing what I just did the other turn. Once an enemy's overcorruption meter gets fully filled, it will get overcorrupted and activate the attached uh, the action attached to it immediately. I think you'll need to use all your Astrarium power to purify her. As one of the six-sided oracles, you have the power to use corruption in your favor. Attached to your corruption meter are actions called virtues. Okay. As your corruption increases and passes a virtue, that virtue is enabled to be played. When enabled, virtues can be played just like dice. These virtues can be enabled multiple times per turn. Okay. So potentially we could get like here, then heal ourselves. Sorry, get here, use this and this. And heal ourselves to get like here, and then we can damage ourselves again to use it again, I suppose. Now, please purify my dear friend Oracle. You are our only hope. Alright, call me call me Obi-Wan. Uh, what do we got here? Corrupt, sure. What is this? Okay. Free corruption. Okay, well. This, you're at full. This is not going to fill your over-corruption. This automatically corrupts the crap out of me. Ouch. But now, you can re-roll your dice. That's the best side you have, so... I should. That is the best side I have, though. I just want to do that. Nice. Heal Four purification damage to an enemy. Get blasted. I'm going to then heal myself. You're going to do two, which will put me here. So I'll do this. And end my turn. Uh-oh. What just happened? <laughs> you corrupted yourself. This virtue is different. At the start of your turn, it will automatically be enabled and can be played only once per turn. 
Convert one die from your hand until the end of enemy's turn. Change a die with any corrupt action into a purify action of the same type. Okay. What? Okay. Got it. All right. This is self-heal. This is too purified to everything. Okay. Uh, that's the highest I can get there. The highest I can get there. The highest I can get there. No reason to reroll. I can, I guess, do this. I'm going to blast you. Then I'll heal everybody. I will heal myself. I way overhealed. Get wrecked. We still have virtues to be played. Well, I can't re-roll anything, my friend. What is this? Oh, you just re Got it. Okay. Re-corruption is fine. You're corrupting yourself, so you're going to do an overcharge. Got it. Okay. I'm going to play... Let's see. This gets me one, two, three to here. I'm going to blast you. Like to heal. Hmm. What is this? Draw one die. Okay. I'm going to heal myself just to style on her. Get wrecked, nerd. Oh, my Astria. So, I was so scared, but you did it. She's back. Oh, dear. I got corrupted. Again. This happens to you often? But I didn't need your help. I'm sure I would be able to purify myself at any time. I don't believe you. You were doomed. You were about to become one of those things forever. You're exaggerating, Scythe. How many times have I got corrupted? I've lost count. But here I am, live and uncorrupted. Well, that's because I was here. Don't mind her, she's just an old grumpy. Misa, you won't believe it. She is the Grimoire that belonged to the Nakshuan Oracle, one of the six-sided oracles. Say again? How could that be? My brother used to be one of them. That's why I'm here. I don't know. This Grimoire has been protected by my family for many generations. The field is calling me to the Astria's heart, the source of all corruption. So you know what to do. You need to go to where the Crimson Dawn happened. Oh, where are my manners? My name is Misa, the Antiquarian. And this little talking sentinel here is Scythe, the Bellkeeper. Hello. We will help you along your journey. If you bring us star shards, we can use them to improve your resources. May Astria bless you. Thanks, Mooney. Good luck on your journey. You guys are dipping already? Okay, we got... uh. A little bit of a modified uh, Slay the Spire map. I don't really have to make any decisions at the moment, so I'll just go right in. Ooh, two enemies immediately. Okay. I'm going to spice things up, I think. What do you do? Locks X Purification. Okay. Okay. Recorruption, you say. What is this? Purification all enemies. Lux X corruption. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what. Ouch. Okay. You're doing five to me. One, two, three, four, five. That's bad. Uh, I'm going to re-roll this. That can only... I mean, this could technically get better, but it can also get worse. It's much more likely to not get worse, though. Okay. Good. From your hand. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm good. I'm taking two. Okay. 
What? Is, sorry, what is this? Enhance one die from any target till the end of enemy's turn. Seems good. Reroll up to two dice from any target. Okay. I mean, you're pretty like... Well, I guess you're not that likely to get better. Okay. So... I think... That... I will use... This. Reroll you and you. Okay, it's not fantastic. We will blast myself. Draw a die. Okay. Sorry, what do you do? You one purification to all targets. All right. That's basically your best side. I don't want that to blast me. So I think we do boom, boom, get wrecked. Yeah, you better run. And then I don't want to damage super hard, so we'll do that. Yeah, I understand. Come on, Moody, calm down, dude. Shadow Mantle, okay. This enhance. Clear purify. Okay. So first things first, get blasted. We will do this. We will re-roll this. That's pretty bad. We will re-roll it again. I'm upset. <laughs> Gonna enhance. Sorry. Any type of purify action with a value to one. Okay, so this can't get any better. So I should have re-rolled that. You're going to do two to me. Right? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I can't do anything with that. Okay, all we have to do is one damage, right? Correct. Third. No need to thank me. Rude. Two's up to two dice. Okay. Okay, what do we got? Heal three purified to any target. I mean, this is just good. Safe neutral. Okay. Balance neutral. Risky neutral. I gotta tell you, one or two corruption is no big deal for the freaking payoff of 11 or 12. I'm taking that. What do we got? Convert. Convert one die from your hand until the enemy's turn. Okay. Meh. I sleep. Like three Twilight Sigil to any target. Creatures with Twilight Sigil receive X purification whenever a die is converted. I can do that once per turn. Does that go away or is that forever? Convert up to two dice from any target until the end of enemy's turn. Self-corrupt. This is too risky. <laughs> Let's try the balanced one. I'm realizing now I could have um, skipped. Which got ten dice now, so maybe I should have. Normal challenge, use 50 star shards in a chest. Okay. Hello. One agony. End of its turn, apply one doom to this creature. Increase dice corruption value by one. Okay. You're going to ramp up real quick. You got your best side. I'm going to go ahead and do that there. 
I'm gonna do this. What, uh, why? What's happening? I can't play you for some reason. Uh, I'm gonna do corruption damage to myself. Enhance one die from any target until the end of enemy's turn. You are a purification action. I don't understand why I can't use you, to be honest. Not sure. Get blasted. The best side. Really wish I could use you. Okay, whatever. <laughs> yeah, I'm aware. Thank you. Okay, you're getting buffed. Yep. Give me an extra die, please. Let me purify you. Nice. Okay, you're going to be doing one to me. Which can be sorted out with one of these. I'm going to re-roll two. Okay, that was dangerous. I should have looked at what you could do. <laughs> I guess I could have converted you. Okay, get blasted. Get ultra blasted. Get wrecked. Living on the edge. Don't get a five side, please. That'd be crazy. You be. Okay, I tell you what. First things first. Boom. 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 Give me a dice. Okay. I mean, end it. <laughs> Direct. Okay. What do we got here? What is this? Change all dice from your hand with any type of corrupt action into purify one time. Purify. Okay, got it. This seems freaking insane. Intend research. Increase enhance effectiveness by X. Okay, that's pretty good. I'd rather have this though. We're working on like a convert deck. But we get another one. Discard up to two dice from your hand. If you do, deal three purification to a random enemy X times or X is the amount of dice discarded. Seems good. Before purification to all targets, add one dizzy hex die into your drop hole. No. Change up to three dice from your hand with any type of purify action with a value one into area, purify six actions. That seems incredibly specific. Um, nah, I don't care. Okay, what do we got here? Random event or ambush. Use up to two risky die. Spend star shards to improve your dice pool. Forge destroy a duplicate. Nice. Sentinels. Acquire new sentinels or create one you have. I don't know what that means. I want to go to the forge shop, I think. Hello. What do we got? The two purification to an enemy deals additional... Or purification for each doom you have. I don't have any doom. Double your research. You have no research. Gain two. Well, these are uh, certainly risky. Choose a die from your discard to draw and roll. That seems pretty good. Ah, so some of these are character specific. That's cool. Is this... Run up to two dice from your hand for the rest of the run. 
rest of the run? The heck? Lose a heart. Oh, what? That's awful. Um, you like draw and die, but that's a lot of damage. This is insane. <laughs> no. Okay, let's spend some cash money. Mesa, come out. Found some really good stuff. Cool. Okay, I want to destroy... Get a non-epic dice from your dice pool. Die from your dice pool. Excuse me. Okay, increases cost. Oh. This. Okay, so we're changing die sides with this. Okay, that's interesting. We have 270. Uh, I want to destroy a dice, I think. But let me look at which one I want to destroy. I kind of hate the enhanced die, to be honest. Because I don't think it works. <laughs> uh, the reroll's pretty cool. This one's kind of meh. Uh, hmm. I think that we have any reason to do the enhanced crap. Not really. Yeah, I don't want the enhance. Uh, get out of my deck. Go away. Convert one die from any target until the end of enemy's turn. Draw two dice. I think drawing two dice is, like, cracked. Where do we want to put it, though? That's the real question. Kind of have a draw here. So let's do that. Can I use your star shards on that? Absolutely. I would like to put that here. Thank you. Now I'm out of cash money. Bye. We keep looking for goodies. Thank you. Normal challenge. Uh, you know I'm going for the elite. Blue. Thick skin thorn. Okay. Okay. S interesting. Random target. Okay. So this is one of your better sides. I'm going to Twilight Sigil on you. I'm going to blast you here. Um, to do that, and then I'm gonna re roll you. Okay, we'll say you seem pretty hard. <laughs> Okay. Okay. First things first, get blasted, draw a die. We don't care about enhance. 
gonna re-roll. I re-roll you two. Oops. Okay, that's pretty bad. Uh, that's fine though. I'm gonna change all of you. Purify one. There's absolutely no reason for me to use it on you since you take one less. So I'm gonna heal. Wait, did you take damage from my Twilight Sigil? I hope that counted. Did not see. Okay, you're getting buffed very soon. Pants, that's fine. That's a fine result. That's a great result. We're going to do this so I can draw another card. And by card, I mean dice. Okay. Hmm. I guess. Nice. Say that there. Okay. I'm gonna re roll you. Actually, that was pointless. <laughs> Yeah. Can you turn into scary stuff. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and end my turn. Okay, now you're doing a bunch of extra damage. We got Void Seek. Holy. First things first, blast you there. Where's my discard? Right here. Um, not very good to be honest. I guess I'd probably grab Cosmic Wisdom. Okay. I would rather re-roll you two. Okay. I'm gonna do this. I'm going to draw one. Sure. I'm gonna blast you for one that I can draw another. Okay. I'm gonna use ya. Invert you so you take some Damahe. And then you're super dead, my friend. Get wrecked. Didn't stand a chance. All right, that was pretty hard. <laughs> Gain a star blessing, a passive effect with lower power. Okay, cool. Uh, research. I don't care about enhance at all. Start up to three dice. Do deal three purification to random enemy. That's fine, I guess. You're not. I'm not interested in you at all. Yeah. Nah. Well, like sigil's pretty neat. Research, who cares? Uh, I'm going to grab this one. Gives me a chance to convert more stuff. Choose a star blessing. What we got? Every eight safe dice you play, refresh your virtues. 
I don't think I have a lot of safe die, do I? I have one. <laughs> Every five turns gain incorruptible. Blocks all corruption until the start of your next turn. First draw phase of each battle, draw one additional die. Um... Yeah. I guess could be bad though. Like I could draw another corrupted die that I can't fix. Destroy one die from your dice pool. That sounds great. Board shop. Duplicate. Meh. I'm gonna destroy a die. Cause that's worth a hundo. We're gonna destroy the enhanced die. Cause I hate you. We go to the star shop with our small amount of money. It's probably not worth it, right? Guess I could get rid of a stellar cleanse. Or I could just take another 50 star shards. Let's go here. Hey there. Found some really good stuff. Uh, just so we could show off what's going on here. Next three dice you play are returned to your draw pool instead of being discarded. Cool. In three doom, refresh your virtues. The plain old side. Die from your draw pool and re-roll. Yeah. That's cool. I'm going to destroy a die. Uh, we're going to get rid of stellar cleanse. We're thin decking it. All right. Shrine here. You can pray for Astrid's health. Recover one heart. Sacrifice a heart for a boon or gain star shards. Uh, I'm going to do this. Though I wasn't impressed with the blessings, to be honest. Maybe we got a bad batch, though. At the end of your turn, all enemies receive two pur purification for each die in your hand. That's kind of cool. Every four times you deal purification enemies, you receive one purification. While well, you have six corruption on your corruption meter, you deal an additional two purification. Six. That seems like a lot. Um. I will do this, I guess. Six. One. Oop. All right, we're at a boss. Epic die, you say. Hello. Creepy looking. Vengeful stab. Every six times you deal purification to it. What, so you, like, get an extra die, or you activate the one you have? I don't know. Next X purification is dealt by you are going to be decreased by one. Okay, fair enough. I'm going to hit you with that. I'm going to grab this. We're going to play this. Reroll both of you. Uh, We'll play you. Meh. Okay. Probably shouldn't have played that last one, to be honest. Like, doing one damage to someone that has 60 health is like, whatever. <laughs> okay. Corruption to all targets. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Because that is going to boost you up. Tell you what. Do this. Do that. And I blast myself. Sugar. 
<laughs> I wanted to hit myself with that. I don't know why I did that. Okay, that's awful. That is awful. Now I can't even uh, re-roll that. Oh, boy. There's just not a reason to play you. You're going to doom yourself. That's not great, to be sure. It's fine. I'm okay with that. 12? You can't be upset about that. Um, okay, I'm going to hit myself and I would like to reroll both of you. So realizing a problem I have here and it's that. I heal too much. <laughs> uh, I'm just going to end. Because I don't want to increase this. And by that, I mean decrease this. Three to everyone I'd rather you didn't do. That's just a terrible dice. I think my deck might kind of suck, to be honest. <laughs> um, there's not even really a point to uh, re-rolling that, I guess. I'd like to get the corruption side on that one. Crap. Give me the corruption side. Okay, I prefer that. And then these just do not matter at all. I should have grabbed that one that said do two for every dice you have. Okay, now we can actually start playing the freaking game here. All right. Boom. Boom. Um. See what we got here. That's fine. Because we can purify it. That did not do 18 damage. So I guess that's the only way to do that. Which sucks. Um, I'm going to be taking a lot of damage. So I'm going to do this. And I'm not going to do that. Okay. So, first things first, we're going to draw a die. Holy. Then we're going to use this to see, yep, you did in fact decrease that, which means I need to heal. Um, I re roll you and you. Okay. Actually, quite okay with that. Blasted. 
Ouch. Okay, suddenly we have a problem. Now I am... I'd lose a heart. <laughs> Okay, I'm no longer losing a heart. That's what I like to see. Okay, can we get, like, one thing to convert so we can blast them? Thank you. Draw dice just in case. Play this and that. Convert this. Get wrecked. Nerd. Okay, what do we get? Sentinel, whatever that is, an epic die, a black hole blessing. Recover all your hearts. Sick. Uh what are you? You You evolve, I guess. Go dice, okay. Scarred dice, who cares? Light shield is fine. Okay, I guess light shield on all enemies is fine. This. Okay. Choose one die with a non-mandatory action from your hand to not be discarded until this play. Okay. Corruptible. I mean, you seem good. Yeah, I'm going to go with stasis clock. Uh, did I choose you? I did. Hello. Welcome to the party, my friend. Uh, curse prediction. Choose a die from any target, then rotate that die to a chosen face. That's cool. But it junks up my deck. Let's give me the ability to change stuff into, uh, to convert it specifically. One purification to any target deals four additional purification for each dice converted during this battle. That's like right up my alley. Yeah, this is for me. Black hole blessing. What do we got? Each purification received by all targets by one. That's awful. Or two additional dice per turn. At the start of each battle, apply one agony to a random enemy. That's awful, too. Holy. Draw one additional die per turn. At the start of each battle, apply obscure to all enemies. That's not a big deal. Okay. Chapter 2. Okay, these runs are going to be long, I think. What is this? Random event or ambush. Choose up to two dice. Cash money. Risky die, balance die, destroy one die. Um, I'd like to destroy a die. What do we got? No. I have a lot of, a lot of risky die. <laughs> um. I don't really care. Let's lean into the riskiness. Draw two balance die. No. Um. I don't really think I need another yet. No, I'm gonna skip. I'm gonna destroy. Our Stellar Cleanse. Who cares? I sleep. All right. And I think this will probably be our last fight. Death Bomb. And defeated all targets received to corruption. Okay, after the first turn, whatever. You've got seven corruption. My hand is about to get full. Okay, hand limit's eight. Got it. Uh, so you have ten corruption. You have seven, seven. So seven, seven, ten. I'm going to forget that. Guaranteed. My shadow mantle to a random enemy. Sure, that's fine. 
by one doom, that's not fine. Okay. Okay. So... Increase its over-corruption by one. Crap. You guys are nasty. Okay. So, we're gonna hit you here. We are going to... Reroll you. Nice. Uh, we're gonna grab you back. Okay, I kind of was hoping you'd go on a corruption side, to be fair. What is this? Corruptible to any target. Three armor, they're doing three damage total. You're gonna do one. Um... Sure. Sure. Yep, I am aware. Thank you. Okay. We are going to draw to die. We are going to fly you here. We are going to change this. Okay. We have 17. What is this? Um. Okay. Hmm. Okay, you're dead. Next target is you. Get blasted. Random target, who cares? Don't really want that to happen. Uh, so let's re-roll you and you. I'd much prefer that. Uh-oh. I'm incorruptible. Boom. All right, we're good. Oh, you can attack my buddy. <laughs> okay. All right. And apply you there. We're going to re-roll you. Okay, it's a bummer. I would like to convert you. Get wrecked, nerd. Now I'd like to re-roll you two. I'm going to use this to get a dice back. Start stacking you here. You deal five. You're dead. What happens when my friend dies, by the way? Because you're doing four damage. <laughs> we'll heal him up and hope he doesn't get hit. Okay. No big deal.
All right. What is this? Death bomb? That does not matter at all. So, first things first. Reroll both of you. Okay. Get blasted. Get converted. Get destroyed. Go away. Wait, what the heck? You can kill my dude after the fight's ended? Oh, he's back. That's fine. All right. Forge Purify. Change a die from your hand into Purify one action for the rest of the turn. Don't care. Oh boy, do I not care. Why? Uh, I don't care. That's pretty good for us. That's fine. That gives me a way to actually get my health lower. All right. I think that's where we're going to call it. Uh, this game's very cool. I enjoyed myself. I like the dice building aspect. It seems to have a cool storyline going. And uh, yeah, the damage mechanics are very unique. Um, interesting to have to damage yourself in order to get your abilities. Uh, I clearly failed in that regard because <laughs> I was struggling to use them. But uh, yeah. It's a cool game. It would not take much to convince me to play more of this. So if you are interested in that, definitely let me know. And uh, yeah, if you liked the video, I would appreciate it. If you left a like or a comment, that would help me out a lot. And if you want to see more from me, my name is Quantic Flux. I put out a couple videos every single day. Uh, currently, I've got Slice and Dice ongoing, as well as the Check It Out series, which you just watched, where I check out a new, usually indie, usually roguelike game every single day, though I do switch it up. And uh, yeah, if that sounds like something you'd like to see, I'd be happy to have you subscribed. With that being said, I want to thank, thank you for your time. I truly appreciate it. And I hope you have a great rest of your day. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.